If it makes you feel good, it matches. A couple weeks ago, my kids and I were having a lazy Saturday morning. We got up and watched some Star Wars The Clone Wars and Barbie Dreamhouse Adventures. Then we made chocolate chip pancakes. I told Mickey and Claire to get dressed, and when Claire came up from her room, she was holding a pair of fuzzy pants with a sort of blue-violet and sky-blue quasi-cheetah print pattern on them. Claire asked if they were pajama pants. When I said they were, she sulked and turned to take them back to her room. When I told her she could still wear them, she cheered and excitedly ran to get a shirt. When Claire emerged again, she was wearing the aforementioned fuzzy spotted bluish pants and a more truly royal purple shirt, the front of which is covered in purple and silver sequins. I chuckled and asked Claire if that was the outfit she was going to roll with for the day. Claire shrugged and said, What? Purple and purple. It matches. Now, Just to be entirely clear, the blue and semi-violet pattern of the pants and the purple of the shirt did nothing but clash, and the shining sequins really brought out the wacky cheetah print. So I turned to Claire and said the only thing I, as a responsible father, could say, if it makes you feel good, it matches. Claire agreed and frolicked off merrily. I want Claire's shirt and pants to match, but I don't particularly care if they match each other. I'd rather Claire's clothes match her personality. I'd rather Claire's clothes match the exuberant bubbliness she generally possesses. I'd rather have Claire's clothes match the confidence I want her to have as she marches out into the world. With those goals in mind, Claire's outfit matched perfectly. I mean, a little style advice isn't a bad thing. And I want my kids to be generally clean and well-kempt as a point of personal pride. We've even been known to dress up from time to time. Earlier this year, we went to a local summer stock theater performance, and we were dressed to the nines. Claire wore the elaborate pink princess dress I had gotten for her for a father-daughter dance we had attended earlier in the year. We were overdressed, really. But we were going to the theater, and sometimes it's fun to be fancy. Of course, I've also let Mickey and Claire go out into public wearing Halloween costumes, because that's fun, too. I guess that's my point. We're fortunate. We're fortunate to have clothes. Mickey, Claire, and I all have more clothes than we need. We have more toys and tools and books and games and things than we need. We have more stuff than any person needs. And I don't want my children to let stuff define them. They don't need to cast off all their worldly possessions but I don't want their lives to revolve around things either. And I certainly don't want them to feel like they have to cater to anyone else's opinions about how they should look. I'm not opposed to having material things, but I want those things to serve me. I don't want to become a servant to them. That's what I want for Mickey and Claire. I want them to consider the material things in their lives. I want them to ask whether or not those things add value to their lives. My daughter is six and my son is eight. It won't be long before they're going to start feeling the pressure of a society steeped in images that show us what clothes to wear, what car to drive, and what house to buy. At some point, they're going to be pushed to fit in. Sometimes, though, We just don't match the world around us. As far as we know, we only get one crack at this whole life thing, and it's too short to not be the version of ourselves we want to be. 
there's just not enough time to waste any of it fitting into other people's molds. That doesn't mean we should dismiss people or be mean or not compromise. Too often, especially in recent years, we as a society have taken the notion of being honest or true to oneself as some sort of permission to denigrate others or simply be rude. I don't mean that at all. So long as we're not hurting or infringing upon the rights of others, I just think we all ought to have the freedom to be who we are and who we want to be. Maybe I'm taking too big of a leap from picking out a Saturday morning outfit. I have a tendency to make a philosophical mountain out of a mundane task molehill. But I don't want to miss an opportunity to support and empower my kids either. It's too important. And if I can use clothes to do that, I will. By choosing their own clothes, children get one of their first opportunities to really express themselves. And they understand the power in that. That's why they like to wear costumes. When children put on capes, they become superheroes. When my daughter wears her princess dress, she becomes a princess. When children wear these things, they're not worried about what others might think. They're only concerned about how they feel. When they wear those clothes, they feel empowered and special and safe. That's what I want. If we're going to have things, possessions that extend well beyond our survival needs, those things should support the ways we want to look and feel and be. They should match our goals and our purpose. They should match us. So remember, if it makes you feel good, it matches. Thank you.